By default, WordPress comes with two taxonomies, categories and tags. Within each one, you can set various ways that your users can find specific information. For example, take the categories taxonomy. On a general health and wellness blog, you might see categories such as exercise or workouts with child categories such as cycling or running. Users can sort and filter the information to find exactly what they need. Tags are similar, only they are used for specific subjects on your site. The tag fitness video games might cover posts in both running and cycling categories. So tags are a taxonomy that's useful for sorting in a different way. Custom taxonomies are exactly the same. You can use them to specifically target content for your readership and niche. Like most things in WordPress, you can create custom taxonomies with a plugin or manually. First, we'll do it using the custom post type UI plugin. Once installed and activated, hover over the CPT UI menu and select add slash edit taxonomies. Fill out your desired slug and the plural and singular versions of it, then click on add taxonomy. Next up, settings. Depending on what options you choose, the taxonomy will appear looking something like this. We attach this one to posts, so as you can see, it appears under categories and tags in the block editor. Since there are so many options, we suggest taking a look at the full list on the plugins repository page. For those of you who prefer the manual method, go into your WordPress root folder. Find the wp-content themes your theme folder and open the functions.php file. After that, copy this code from our blog post linked in the description and adjust it based on the taxonomy you want to create. This code actually creates two taxonomies in the dashboard, one with the parent child capabilities and one without. So basically a secondary set of categories and tags. The code itself was posted on the official taxonomy page by the WordPress Codex team, and it registers books as a taxonomy with various genres and writers to relate. All you need to do is go through and replace the book related keywords with your own and you're good to go. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.